Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's Mecha Jam, <clears throat> and I'm back with more Battletech Advance 3062. All right, when we left off, uh, we had just done that ambush convoy, and we'd gotten that, uh, riv that uh, not rival, um, regular Vapor Eagle. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. I've got a couple of ideas, none of which I'm super excited by. I want to grab that light tag, though. That might be... Something I want to buy, actually. I don't think we have any light tag lying around, right? No, we have one lying around. Never mind. I don't need to buy it. Great. Not for I'm planning. Um, I don't need no snub noses. Got plenty of regular tag. Calm suite. Uh, all right. I think I wanted. One thing I was I was thinking, looking for. All right. Cool. I just want to make sure nothing here is what I'm missing. Great. Okay. All right. So. Ah. That's fitting. All right. Vapor Eagle 1. I could dismantle the, the griffin for this, but I don't really think I need to. All right, I was originally planning on putting stealth armor on it, but I'm not sure I actually really want to. I think that'll get that'll, that'll hamper my heat my heat issues. It'll give me heat issues more than I want. <sighs> clan machine gun. Let me check. Do interstellar machine guns have more range than clan machine guns? I'm curious. No, they're the same. The inner sphere ones are the clan ones are heavier, no lighter, and generate more heat. Hmm. So one thing I'm thinking about doing is all right. So we're definitely ditching the clan streak twos. Like those are just not helping my plans. Uh, I was thinking about doing stealth armor, and that's just not working. I'm debating whether I want to use the clan machine guns. We're going to actually just pull the weapons off, all the weapons off for the moment. All right, so things that we could put on this. We've got two missile hard points. All right, one possibility is we could go with MRMs. We could go with a pair of MRM20s. Do we have enough tonnage for two MRM20s? We do, but not for ammo afterwards. Okay. This thing's got too big an engine for that. That's fine. Uh, we can go SRMs then, maybe. Like we could slap in a pair of SRM sixes and some medium lasers. I mean, medium X pulses are good. Are good. Problem is, we're not really making use of the uh, hard points we got at the moment. I don't have ammo on it. <sighs> I don't know what I want to do. Like, this is a really good mech. Like, legitimately. I know it's a, I know for a fact it's a good chassis. Um, I've got two more clan ER mediums on the crab that I could pull off and swap them out for like ER media, regular ER mediums on the crab. Um, So we've got basically 16 and a half tons for weapons. So we don't have a lot of tonnage for weaponry is the big thing. And it's mostly energy weapons. 
so I'm thinking probably we should put a... Uh, like a TTS of some sort on. This is lighter, so I'm probably I'm inclined to go with it than the TTS Energy Plus. Um, all right, let's see. Honestly, haywire lasers strike me as interesting. If I had more haywire lasers, I'd be interested in doing them. Or if I could have multiple of them on the same arm, like... I've got a small... I do have a small... one small haywire. I wish I had small X pulses. Those are actually really good. <laughs> we could put a coil system on this, but I'm not going to. Like, I could do that. I'm not sure it's a good idea, but I could do it. Like, this is actually fast enough to pull off a coil system. Actually, a little tempted by this. That just strikes me as not a bad idea. Like I'm, I'm, this is beginning to look like something that resembles something not terrible. Like, we want, like, a beagle probe. I guess I could run an angel ECM. If we're not going to use a... Not going to use stealth armor. Get the, get a point of... Get a point of defense from that. Then maybe throw in, like, a defensive gyro. I mean, I could fix it, make this a little bit better by pulling pulling apart the. Uh... Yeah, the third defensive gyro in. Like the coil system, just is not not actually a good idea, I don't think. But the tracer ammo is. Like the coil is a big blat, but I think it's actually just a terrible. It's just a, it's sort of a meme -y thing. I don't think we're doing that. I think we're gonna put the machine guns in the arm though. 
I might as well put some ammo in there too. All right, because it's we got we got case so. Um. Let's not go stealth. We'll keep the angel ECM, but we won't go stealth. Um. Like. Clan being impulses are just a little too myopic for my tastes. I really wish this arm had wasn't just one big gun. But we could go with like a PPC or something. We could go like Stumner's PPC here. And then like a couple of ER mediums maybe? And then like light tag there. Now we could get a sensor system there. Um, I'm not a big fan of clan of machine guns, but like they don't generate much heat and. These are tracer ones, so they, like between that and the tag, we can start setting people up, which is, you know, a good thing. Um, the other option is to not go with ACM, Angel ACM, and we start converting everybody over to the C3 network. Because I think with the gyro defense, I don't think we need the... We could, that's a thought, actually. Okay, so let me think. Um... Do I start converting my unit over to a, to, to a C3 network? That's a real question. That's actually a legit real question. And... It's not a terrible idea, actually. Let's drop that. Up a C3 on. And we've got room for one more medium laser, I guess. Do we? Does that make us overheat? It does. But not by as much as I. As I it, it's not by as much as it looks like. It was, we're actually at 78. This is the clan quirk. Um. And for not firing the machine guns, that's a little bit less heat, actually. Like, until we get to machine gun range, we're fine. Yeah, I think this is actually... This is not bad. I mean, the other options go with like just keep the large pulse laser in the arm. It weighs the same. Is that less heat or same heat? Same heat, I think, right? Yeah, same heat. Sub hits harder, but the large pulse laser is more accurate, kinda. This has a debuff on it, which I kind of want. Like, I like I want my light max to do my 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 support my my scouty things to do scouty stuff. Right, give me a second. I think what we're gonna do is I think we retire the crab at this point. We never use it. We never use the crab. So that gets shoved into storage. We can use the stuff on the crab. Let's refit. We now we've now got the tech off the crowd that we can play with. All right. 
And that means we actually technically have three clan ER mediums. Alright, so... Let's say we go with the Stubnose PPC. I mean, theoretically, we could just go with a whole bunch of light PPC. Alright. Is that a... Is this realistically possible? No, no, not there. Come on. There we go. And we got the tonnage for it. I wish I had a clan EC. I wish I had a clan probe, but like lying around, but we don't. That, that's something I have to live with. Well, I see three slave. There's a beagle probe in here somewhere, right? Gardenesium. Am I missing? Or I'm just blind. It's okay. Like, in theory, we could run four light PPCs. That's, like, not the worst idea I've seen. It's just not a lot of damage. You could like slap the energy evasion plus plus thing and just ignore four two points of evasion, which is like plus four accuracy against anybody who's got evasion. Do we have a, got a laser zoom array? Could slap on it too. Do we have a uh, range finder? We can slap on. We should. I thought I had a rangefinder in the crowd, but apparently not. That's fine. Um, we got like slap laser from rayon or something. Like that's funny, but it's not. It's not like realistically actually a plan. Like that's that's sort of like yeah, not happening. But like you know, we could slap like stubnose PPC in the arm. Technically speaking, I have three clan ER mediums, so we could do those. And we could slap like an exchanger on. Let me throw an improved heat bank on. Currently we're at 72 plus 12 is, eight. we're now heat neutral with a ton and a half remaining. Actually more than heat neutral because we've got the clan quirk. So we could go with the machine gun idea. Tracer ammo on again. We're a little overweight at the moment, which is fine. I can fiddle with that a bit. Um, hmm. Instead of that, what if we go with ER Smalls? They generate more heat by a noticeable margin. I don't think I can run clan or mediums. They just they generate a little bit too much heat, I think. 
What if we run normal medium lasers? Just for the efficiency. How overheating are we right now? Not bad, not bad. We got two turns. Okay, so here, here's where we do. Here's what we do. All right. We go for another ER small, and then we slap in uh, the heat bank, the improved heat bank. So we are now at 72 out of 87, but we have an additional 18 a turn. Is 90? So we're actually heat neutral now, not counting jumping. Like we have less raw firepower than we had before, but we're more mobile. We have some more, we have some tricks that we can do. Oh, I don't have the gyro on here that I wanted to put on, damn it. ton and a half for that. Ugh. Um, wait a minute. I had a thought. Hang on. Drop one of the small lasers for light tag instead. Alright, that puts us heat neutral without the heat bank. So we put the defensive gyro on. So we're losing a bit of firepower compared to what we had before, but we're accurate. Got the tag, we got the light tag, which will be nice to have. C3, we're harder to hit. We got a beagle probe. I'd like to put a rangefinder on, but we don't have one right now. We're not using the missile hard points, which I just like. I'm finding difficult to get. Like I could, do, I could get there without the, if I don't. If I, I could use. The, I could put rocket launchers in there if I wanted to without. The, if I didn't use the sub nose, but I kind of want to keep the the PPC on there because I kind of like the the debuff thing and the a little bit more direct punch into one location. I like the Rivals build better, but this is different. It's it's not bad. And the ER Smalls have basically this, are very, you know, they're they're in the same ballpark of range as the, like they've got surprising reach, basically. And we definitely want a range finder on here, but. And we're not easy to hit. I think we'll go with this. I think that's the build we're going with for now, right. at least. I'll get it Mind you, if you've got suggestions based on what you've seen in my, my inventory and such that you think might be better, please let me know. I'm, I'd be curious to know what you think. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get another mission in. Can't use that vapor glare now, but like, okay. Anyways, we're gonna—I was gonna do this uh, raiding party here. Hot landing's great, but we're gonna do raiding party first. Oh, that's pirates, actually. No, I don't want to do that right now. No, we're gonna do hot landing. I want—I want to do stuff against clans. And I'd rather do the uh, do a straight battle than than than. Yeah, we'll do uh, three or twelve. That's fine. Oh, uh, let's just go with the same unit, honestly. Like, yeah, let's go with that. 
We'll just bring the same unit because I can. We'll just base our movement around around the Keats. Oh, we're approaching. Once we're into range, the Keats. The Keats, honestly, like I. Oh, I really. Yeah. I, by the way, I need do need to go through and look through and see how we can squeeze a C three onto basically everything if we can. Um. Uh, that last mission didn't have any battle armor. That was... I just realized that yesterday's... The previous episode's mission didn't have any battle armor. Hmm. We're going to get battle armor in this mission, almost certainly. So, the plan is... I should put AOE ammo onto the archer, actually, and I'm thinking about it. Damn. But yeah, we definitely want to get C3 onto the, into the unit somewhere, into, into everything. Especially the longer range stuff, so, like... And the slower stuff. Like, I think the key... If we can get C3 onto the Keats, that'll be a big help. Because it's lumbering, and if we can get be able to get things up close to get targeting information with the Keats, it can... Oh, God, I hate this weather effect. Just because I just don't like the the filter. Yeah, we're picking up battle armor. I'm not surprised. I got a star here. Oh my god, we have three lances. Oh dear god, three stars. That's kind of terrifying. Something I can do. Yeah, the transports are nowhere near the battle armor, which yeah, actually okay. Well, one of them is okay. That's good, I guess. I am abjectly terrified here, honestly. This is a pro this is a problem, TM. Forty tons, forty tons, forty tons, forty-five tons, fifty tons. Alright. Three stars is gonna be a problem. Waiting for the right move. Roger that. Standing by. What's the plan? Confirmed. Alright. Orders. They're mounting up. Roger that. Full speed. Right, now we're just going to reserve to the end of the turn because I... Let them move. This is actually terrifying, by the way. I have a plan here, it's just not a good plan. Hoping nothing gets in close here this turn. This is a risky play what I'm doing right now, but I think it's the only my real my, my real best shot at pulling this out without being uh, completely obliter completely ruined. We have to basically punch these suckers out quickly. Okay, they've got vehicles. I'm hoping they don't have much more battle armor. That's what I'm hoping at the moment. Be 
because that's what I'm abjectly terrified by is too much battle armor. Yeah, these. All right, great. Receiving you. Hauling in. Hoping I can get both of them in range of a of a. Nope, I can't. Okay, that's unfortunate. Sensors locked on. I'm receiving you. She's kind of stuck there, huh? Receiving right. you. Firing jump jet. Sensors locked on. Both phantoms are there. We've got them low, fairly low on. on. Ready for orders. Right, we're going to move you later. Commander. You know what? We're just gonna go raw AOE damage here. I think I just I need to do. I can't afford to waste ammo on acid here. Swarm ammo here. Nobody else can get into, get line of sight at the moment, which is fine. I wait your command. The man Teufel can, but I'm not sure I want it to. That's too close, I think. Do I run that risk? I think I do. I have to gamble here. Moving fast. I think I have to gamble here. This might be the wrong move, but we're going to try it. Sucker. Didn't get the hits I was hoping, but we should be able to go before them. Good to go. On my way. Ready, 
I'm hoping I'm smart. I'm being smart about this, but we'll see. I'm receiving you. Confirmed. We really can't get like much in the way of like we can't get in the line of sight. They've done a good job at hiding, which is fine. Good to go. I have a plan for next turn. It's just not a good plan. Technically speaking, the Atlas can get into line of sight. That's actually not a terrible Roger idea. That. I can maybe swap that one down because we're far enough away. I think that the other one can't get to what it needs to do to do, do awful things to me. Oh, we, we straight at the armor, which is actually great. Granting the battle armor there was actually good, and they're down. Not there. There's a bunch of them down, which is great. What do you need? All right. That was actually really good for me. Yeah, that battle armor is going to move, but it can't get to me, which is the important bit. It can shoot, but it can't swarm me. Is the part that I'm just worry about. Alright, great. Awaiting orders. Almost out of guns, which is great. A Viper, that's a little worrisome. And a Shadow Cat, which has got LRM 15s, which I would love to take intact, honestly, but we'll see about the, the, the LRM 15s, not the actual Viper. Let's rip evasion. I've got a sensor lock. Commander. They attempted to swarm the, the the helicopter. That is hilarious. All right. I will be done. Waiting for orders. That was actually like really big, honestly. Why can I not shoot at the battle armor? They're not on me. Oh, I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. All right, let's move. Fine, we'll shoot this battle armor here. Fire and all weapons. We'll kill the salamanders down there. That's fine. Critical hit, Commander. I can't hit that squad right now, which is actually really a big problem. I'm ready. Engaging target. Next destroyed. I'm actually really irritated about that, honestly. I really don't like that. Like, I just can't shoot them this turn. Like, that's... Like, legitimately, I think, kind of bullshit. <laughs> I didn't get as much evasion on the Dakota there as I wanted to, but I'll live. They've got a lock on me. And that's why I was a little worried about that. Yes, 
That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. much more battle armor. They probably will. They should have at least another point, a point of battle armor per squad, per, per star. I'm just hoping they don't. Like I say, I'm hoping they don't. I'm expecting they do. They've oh, I'm so happy he did that. And did not actually, uh... I'm so, so irritated by the... Alright. Standing by. that or drop battle armor? I drop this, yeah. And I think we drop the... Standard sniper turret, I think. I think. Maybe it should have been the alarm turret. I don't know. We'll see. I seem to drop an H factor just because it's tougher, but Yeah, that's a problem is the thing. Like they just really did number on my evasion, which is fine. Like that's You're embarrassing yourself. Okay, I actually really do want to reserve here. I'm not really worried about that crab at the moment, so that's good. You know, we're going to some reserves at the end of the turn and see what they do. Interesting. All right. Orders? Going full throttle. That crab did not move much. Not a big threat either, but... Cry havoc. I mistargeted. I don't know, we actually did a number on the Viper, which is not bad. And the, type, the turret couldn't see anything because... Apparently I misplaced it, that's unfortunate. Waiting for orders. Going full throttle. Okay, yep, we got battle armor back there too. Alright. Phantom. Uh, 
Oop, they've got an actual heavy mech there. That's a little interesting, maybe. Oh my god, that's a little terrifying. Thankfully, it's down a bunch of its stuff. But it has the Ultra AC-20, which is scary! God, that thing's fast. God, that thing is fast. Alright, uh, let's get Poet set up properly here. Go into overload, thank you. Yes, Commander. No idea what those the elements are going to do there. It's going to be really bad, potentially very bad, but there's not much I can do about it because the game decided that I'm not allowed to do anything about it. Got a lock. Waiting on you, Commander. We're dropping LRMs directly onto this Phantom because, again, it carrying battle armor and it has to go. Firing everything I got. And it's lost its evasion because of my missiles, which is great. That's actually really, really good. Okay. This is actually really terrifying. There's a lot of really scary stuff there. Ready, Commander. It's not helping. I'll get part of the pulses. We're gonna drop them out. I'll keep. No, we're gonna keep. We'll keep them out. I'm just gonna go for the head and see if we can. Actually, no. We're gonna go for a leg. Let's hit him hard. Just we're gonna fan shot the sucker. Hostile removed. Another phantom down. Battle armor die? I think I killed all the battle armor, which is great news. They've got a sensor lock on me. That's actually fantastic news. I wiped out that battle armor squad too. That's great. Okay, wonderful. Waiting for orders. No shooting, just running. Good. 
Oh, it came real close to dying there. Oof. I would like to have gotten that off the board. That's a timber wolf. Barely hit, Commander. That, I'm guessing? Yeah, dual ATM 9s. That's an interesting build. Yep. How the fuck does it have seven evasion on the Timberwolf? Let's go for single shots this turn. We're not going to over. I don't want to overheat. Show me your war That's a alarm carrier. Oh boy, this is a rough mat mission. That looked like four Gauss rifles to me. That's abjectly terrifying. They can target those guys. They're great. All right, let's precise strike this. Make sure we nail these fuckers. Mess them up. Mess them up good. Report critical hit. target them right now, which is unfortunate, but they reserved, so... Open these guys up to be able to shoot those those elementals there. Hopefully. Can I click on them, please? Thank you. There we go. almost dealt with, which is great. Standing by. They are much less threatening now. All right. And she's going to sensor sweep because she can.
Okay. Less terrified at the moment than I was before because we managed to deal with every. We've been able to deal with the battle armor without it actually getting latched onto something, which is great. That phantom can go do it once. They're not that scary on their own, they're just very fast. Especially that one doesn't seem to have much of the way weapons. Yeah, it's down its ER medium. Waiting for orders. Do that or do I drop battle armor? Or do I move? Can we move? How far can we move? We can move. Tempting to move. Yeah, let's do that. Going full speed. This turn we'll move. See if we can finish up that elemental from here. Targeting for Great! Beautiful. Fantastic. That's actually a big help. Hostile removed. I'm actually really happy to get that off the board. <laughs> it's actually a serious. That was actually a serious con concern. So it's like, no, I don't want to deal with that anymore. I'd like that to go away now, please. <sighs> I mean, it's, I'm glad I was able to get off without get that off the board without having to use actual firepower. Viper is fast, it's zigzagging. So I don't have to move very far though, so I'm actually not unhappy about that. Awaiting orders. Pull it up. Roger that. We're going to do some divvying up of stuff here. I'm going to drop some acid on these fuckers. Those two screw screwballs over there. Going for a couple of things of airburst over there. Acknowledged. Multiple targets. That's what I was trying to do, and I did it. Excellent. Buffing those two targets. That does really good. The turret did, did good work there. Good, good job, turret. Excellent. That crab doesn't really worry me. Heading out. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, 
vigilance on this turn here. Yeah, let's rocket launch for you. Scored a critical hit. More importantly, I knocked it over, which is what I was trying to do. Specifically, I want to just remove its ability to use the, uh, its Ultra Auto Cannon. I hit something good. And he panked out. Great. That's fantastic. Lovely. Beautiful. Off the board. That's the important bit. damage on that hit. I'm a little worried by the... that there. Long gas rifle. They're going to have a bunch of stuff that goes before I do anything, which is unfortunate, but... Yeah, that's an Alicorn 2C. That is abjectly terrifying. That's gotta go. Okay. Ready for orders. Side arm, torso, side armors here. It's thinner armor. Mess them up. Mess them up good. Knocked it back in initiative is what I was trying to do. That was part of what I was trying to do there. I was trying to knock it back in initiative. And it is close to dead, which is great. That thing is terrifying. Holy shit. pilot I'm guessing you are giving yep no it's, no it's not it didn't or if it is it didn't move which I'm okay with what can I do for you got it normally I try to drop AOE damage here but the air alicorn's got to go before it does any it does anything horrible to me although the LRM carrier is also the demon scary but Piercing Gauss rifle. God, there's a lot of scary shit over there. Oof. Alicorn's gotta go, though. Let's hit him hard. Another hit like that, and you're toast. It lived. That's not good. Oh, God. Okay, I'm glad that gal's missed. Show me your 
war face. Roger. I want to vigilance him because I want to get his stability back. Alright, the Alcorn's gone, thank god. Okay. Enemy down. Did not want that li lingering around. Mm-mm. Ready, Commander. We're out of love. Behead the sucker. That'd be kind of not. That'd be, nope, nope, nope. Behead. Have to behead. Let's hit him hard. Well, that hurt it. I'm here. I could kill that, but I think we'll go for you first. I could probably laser, we're just gonna try to blow this fucker up. Show me your war face. No problem. What's up, Commander? Lockdown. Hostile eliminated. All right, that's off the board. And a good chunk of it's intact, which is not bad. You're actually the next most dangerous target back here. I'm you. I mean, I could sense it up there, but like, I don't really need to. Aura is not scary. I don't think I can get to the planet where I'm carrier, unfortunately. I'm here. Yeah, I can't get line of sight to it, and that's fine. I don't really care about that this this turn. Let's see if we can pick up this Viper. The Viper is actually moderately dangerous back here, so let's see if we can get it. Mess him up. Mess him 
up good. It's moderately dangerous, I should say. It's got some actual weapons left, so. They will be done. Show me your war face. More importantly, I just shoved it back in initiative pretty far, which is not a bad thing at all. And it is open. A couple areas, that's not bad. Okay, so the, the Liberty is going to be dropping mortars onto the... Liberty and the Archer are basically going to be going after the alarm carrier, is the plan. Ideally. Phantom, I'm not worried about it. It's just a single medium laser, which is moderately dangerous. It's dangerous. No, it's, it's an actual gun. It's just, it's only one. There's bigger stuff I have to see if I can fry. The Phantom is going to bite some attention here because it is, it, it moved slowly, which was kind of part of the point. Kind of. All right. Ah, uh, poet. Great. Aye, aye. Gonna move up so she can be in position to do stuff. She get into line. Of, oh, she can. Beautiful. That is actually like really good. What is this back here? Is the question. It's another clan LRM carrier. Okay. That's actually a concern. find a chassis that I can stick clan LRM launchers onto that I like, that'd be great. I'd yeah. love to have an actual, like... Crab's not a big threat. Let the turrets deal, do their thing. That's fine. I was hoping the turret would go after the viper over here, but whatever. They're on our flank. Yes, yeah, so you try to small laser to my back, which is mildly irritating, but you know it's something. Let's do this. Backstab the sucker. Show me your war face. Got him off the board. Don't care about taking attack, just wanted it off the damn board. Alright. Oro's not that scary. It's those that LRM carrier. I'm guessing it might be another LRM carrier back there, which is a little, which is a little terrifying. Okay, it's actually a lot terrifying. Let me be real. Another clan LRM carrier would not be what I want to see. Fire 
firing one. That's so good. Oh. I don't know why it's only firing one, not saturating. This is a long mission, but, like, I'm actually really enjoying this. This is actually a good, tough mission. Like, this is challenging, which... It's not, like, super challenging. Like, I have to... Th it basically, it's like a case of I have to think a little bit while, while doing it, right? <laughs> Sounded like maybe some AC twos and an LRM five, Burke or something. I await your command. Moving to position. All right, the the Fury has to go here. Let's hit him hard. Down. All right. Do the math, Chief. One less target. There's some really scary vehicles here. Honestly, that that alicorn, that clan alicorn scared the bejeebus out of me. Pedal to the metal. All right, we're gonna drop LRMs on this one back here. I think. All right. Great. I'm going to be able to take out this turn, but I should be able to kill it next turn. Alright. Standing by. I chose to continue his speedy advance to the front because that is what he is designed to do. Is just not that scary right now. The demon is a little bit, so we'll go after it. Let's hit him hard. Demon's got a fair bit of armor, so. It's I'll get some of the stuff off the board here if I can. Actually, I'll just core the thing. Show me your war face. That was terrible shooting on his part, unfortunately. Quorum. No. Four shots I need to cool off a little bit here. Mess him up. Mess him up good. Dead. Hope we can salvage that. Bop, 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 bop. This this Fafnir build is working. Like I I got it. I think I got I got it where I wanted it. Sure, that's fine. Whatever turrets, do what you need to do. Understood. Do a little cannons drop. <laughs> went, went silent this turn, that's fine. Let's hit him hard. Demons down. Target destroyed. I 
of curiosity. Oh, good. The ultra, all the all ultras came back online. Great. Okay, I'll be right here. You have orders. Sprinting. I'll see what that is up there. Ultra AC5 carrier, okay. Intersphere and ult Intersphere one, that's. Yeah, okay. Show me your war face. Yeah. See if we can take out the crab here. Not because it's particularly threatening, but because it just want to get it off the board. Again, target guns off the board as always. That's the stock crab, isn't it? Yeah, it's just the stock basic vanilla crab. Huh. Waiting for orders. target prediction so we can get bonuses for everybody else. Firing on rear arc. My flamer's empty. So I don't really care about that that much. Standing by. What do we got left? What do we got left to take out here? We got the Oro, the Crab, and the Ultra AC5 carrier. Alright. Ultra AC5 carrier is the actual threat remaining. Again, like I was probably fine even if I didn't get the things I was trying to do, but like. I guess I could drop battle armor. Sure, we'll drop a we'll drop some grenadier battle armor just because. I doubt it's gonna be useful, but you know it's one of those things that. Ah, one of the PPCs hit. Good. Come over and melee the. Yep, the crafter. That's fine, whatever. Zip. That crab is just in such terrible shape, it doesn't matter. A tickle. Yeah, that's fair. How's it going? Honestly, I'm gonna leave the crab to the battle armor. I'm just not in the mood to waste time on that. I've got a sensor lock. What's up, boss? Not 
No shooting, just running. All right. Side armor piece, we can mess him up, mess him up good. Not scared by you, reporting minimal damage. Yep, oh, it's an ace pilot. Ooh, swanky. Yes, Commander. And Teufel. I really I really like this tank. I've come I've come to really like this tank. It's like it's a lot of fun. It's actually very, very good. Especially when I'm generating this much goddamn resolve every turn. Like, holy shit. I'm able to just like Well, sweet prince. Now we're down to the crab and we're waiting on you, Commander. And that Ultra C five carrier back there. Alright, let's just precise strike it just to get as many missiles on target as we can, else we knock it back in for next turn, which is, you know, assuming it lives, which it shouldn't. It's a carrier, they don't really have much in the way of armor, generally. Oh, wow, it's actually alive. Alright. It'll die next turn. Alright, dude, just, where's the crab? Let's just not fire the dorsal PPC. Alright, it's just dead. That's fine. The crap, the, the, the mad cat just walked over. He's like, eh, no. Ready for orders. Stop. I copy. All right, well. I'm your spaniel. Rolling. Factors like, oh, well, I'm slow and damaged. I'm slow and unsteady a little bit. Whatever. Your battle armor's not gonna do anything, that's fine. Yeah. On it. Yeah. That's ten thousand I didn't need to spend, but whatever, I don't care. We're out of, we're out of, you know, plaza rounds, but whatever. Dead. Let's just finish it off. Great. Done. Great. Enemy down. I don't even think about anything. Nice, clean sweep. Mission successful. But we're here to, you know, make friends with the, with the Rasselhagians, so...
Yeah, we made a nice chunk of ca actual cash. So I will not complain. I am not un unhappy about that. The last two missions have totaled up to be a very nice chunk of money. I should take a look at the uh, battle armor pilots and should spend some experience with them, probably. Alright, let's see. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a fully intact shadow cat I don't care about. I mean, the Timberwolf's fine. I it's a, it's a fine chassis. Um, I'm tempted to grab a bunch of Clan Gauss rifles, to be completely honest. Or some Clan LRM launchers. The, the LRM-15 survived. Both the LRM-15s lived. That's actually a little tempting. Mm, piercing Gauss rifle is interesting. I'm just not sure it's good. Clan Ultra AC 20s there, some Clan Actor Probes, some Clan XL engines, a bunch of Clan XL engines. All right, there's a bunch of stuff here that's not bad at all. Ooh, TTS Missile Evasion Plus Plus is actually very tempting to grab, honestly. All right, I think that's what, yeah, we're grabbing the TTS Missile Evasion Plus Plus, and I think we're going to grab two Clan LRM 15s. Although the two Clan Glass Rifles is also very tempting. Like, well, I'd like to, like, the Clan Gauss Rifle is not a phenomenal gun in and of itself. It's just solid for, it does good damage for its weight with the, with really good range. And it's accurate. Plus one to hit and plus two, it ignores two evasion pips. Like, it's a really accurate gun. That's is what it, it's a big thing. It doesn't hit as hard as the Interspheric Gauss Rifle. Like, that 10 damage is noticeable. But, like, seriously, that's, like, it is hyper accurate. So that's why I'm tempted by that. You know what? I'm actually going to grab it. See if they... They did not hand us any of them. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Clan ER Large. Sure. Clan Ferrofib. We got that already. Clan Ultra AC20. Okay. Like, nothing exciting here, but, you know, whatever. I'm okay with that. I'm fine. Two Clan Gauss Rifles... Like, I'm, I've got a notion for something that the Clan Gauss Rifles might be useful for. Um, if we're going to do the C3 unit, I might bring back the, uh, the Nightstar and it could really use the clan Gauss rifles so that it could actually, I could actually put something on it to help it move. Like if I could get that and like, I don't know, some other stuff that the Nightstar might be not a bad fit for a sort of a, a sort of a hub mech. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. All right. But that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Oh, and for the week, uh, it is f this episode will be going live on Friday. So uh, that's going to be it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys hope had fun. I'll be back on Monday with more episodes. Um, uh, as usual, just as a quick reminder, I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash mechagm. Mondays and Thursdays are when I stream Battletech Advanced, starting about 2 p.m. Eastern, running until about 7 p.m. 7 p.m., so, you know, about that chunk. 2.30 p.m., sorry. Uh, I stream on Tuesdays and Fridays also, but that's other video games. Uh, that's those are my days for other stuff. I do occasional evening streams sort of at random when I've got time and energy. Uh, Saturdays is Tabletop RPG Day. It's usually Dungeons and Dragons Advance. Well, it's, currently that's what it is as I'm recording. It may be something different in future. Who knows? Uh, Saturday, Sundays is Interdimensional Challenge Wrestling at WWE 2K19 EFED. Goofy fun, silliness, lots of fun. Uh, and uh, yeah, and if you enjoy this stuff, you know, you could also, you know, if you haven't already, throw me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff in the future. Ring that bell. The bells, you know, means that you actually get alerted. That's up to you. I mean, like, I yeah, you've heard the palaver from everybody before, so, you know. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the near future. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your... Have a wonderful weekend if you're watching this when it came out on Friday. But uh, otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you when I see you next. Take care. Bye-bye!